Hi ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is Shahid Wani. Uh, in this session, I am going to talk about one another technique of costing which is called activity-based costing or it's also known as ABC costing technique. Now, activity-based costing assigns the simple uh, theory or the simple practice behind the activity-based costing is, is quite understandable. Activity-based costing assigns manufacturing overhead costs to products in a logical manner than the traditional approach of simply allocating costs on the basis of machine hours. Now, activity-based costing first assigns costs to the activities that are the real cause of the overhead. It then assigns the costs of those activities only to the products that are actually demanding the activities. Now, the simple logic is it is uh, for a reason it's called activity based costing because every cost is traced back to the activity that is causing the cost now activity based costing is mostly used in the manufacturing industry since it enhances the reliability of of cost data hence producing nearly true costs and better classifying the costs incurred by the company during its production process this costing system is used in target costing, it is used in product costing, it is used in product line profitability analysis, it is also used in customer profitability analysis, in service pricing as well. It is also hugely popular since organizations can develop a much better corporate focus and strategy if costs are better allocated and grasped in a proper way. Now, when we talk about that first thing in activity-based costing is the, is the assigning the costs to certain activities. Now, what are the different activities that we are talking about here? An activity is any event, unit of work or task with a specific goal, such as setting up machines for production, designing products, distributing finished goods, operating machines activities consume overhead resources and are considered cost objectives when we talk about activity based costing under the activity based costing system an activity can be considered as any transaction or event that is a cost driver a cost driver also known as an activity driver is used to refer to an allocation base itself for example of cost drivers include machine setups, machine requests, consumed power, purchase orders, quality inspections or production orders. Now this is how we define the activities in ABC costing technique. Now let's take an example, let's try to find out how ABC costing works. Let's figure out in the first bullet point, let's figure out how much you are spending on utilities to create a product. To do this, you first have to estimate your total utility bill, which is $20,000 for the year. You determine that the cost driver impacting your utility bill is the number of direct hours worked because that is related with the, with the utility bill of $20,000. The number of direct labor hours worker is equal to 1000 hours for the for the year. So utility bill is 20,000 for the year and the labor hours are 1000 hours for the year. These labor hours have contributed to this utility bill of 20,000. Now you divide your utility bill by your cost driver. Your cost driver here is labor hours to get your cost driver rate. Your cost driver rate will be 20,000 which is your utility bill. You divide it by the number of hours which is 1,000. You get an answer of 20. This is your cost driver rate which is your cost per hour. Utility cost per hour. The total cost is 20,000 for 1,000 labor hours. Per hour it will be 20,000 divided by 1,000 which is 20. From this particular poll uh, product you use it, for example, yet say you use it utilities for three hours. 
Multiply the hours by the cost driver of 20. It will give you a total cost of 60. That is this 20 you have used uh, for, for this specific one product. Now in this fourth bullet point what we are talking about for this specific product you are using three hours per unit. Now per hour you are your utility is 20. For three hour per unit of this product will be 3 into 20 which is 60 per unit of a specific product. Similarly every other product you can get the costs. Hence this is an example of what we call as activity based costing. The, the logic is simple. You are tracing back the costs to the activities that are costing that are causing them. The drivers itself as is evident from this example. Now here is his a representation of how activity based costing works. We have you have to study the processes itself from the process itself for example production process itself you identify the activities you identify the costs. When is the activities and costs are identified you try to match the costs with the activities they are which are causing these costs like this. Now some of these costs will be traced back to the core objectives or will be uh, traced back to the specific activities itself but some costs will be unallocated. Unattached costs but they cannot be forgotten. These are the cost objectives which are considered in activity based costing because uh, these are the these are the objects which have been traced back to the activities itself. Some of the costs they have they are unallocated because they were not be uh, they were not uh, they were not traced back to the activities but still they are not to be forgotten. This is all about activity based costing. Now activity based costing breaks down the costs that go into the uh, go into creating a product. It has many uses in business for businesses for example activity based costing is great for making overhead decisions and pricing decisions. Now costing decisions on one hand means the ABC system shows you how overhead is used which helps an organization determine whether certain activities are necessary of a production or not. If you find that some activities cost more than they should you can find new methods to do something or you can cut down steps immediately. Similarly activity based costing helps us in pricing of the products itself. The specific allocation of costs also helps you to set prices that produce a healthy small business profit margin. If you only know which direct costs go into your products you are ignoring the other costs which would lessen your profit margins. With an activity based costing system you can assign costs to each activity in the production process. Allowing you to more accurately set a price that accounts for how much it costs you to create that specific product. These are two important implications of using ABC systems itself. One is it helps us in, uh, in help us in it helps us in management in taking decisions in regards to the costing. It helps the management to take decisions in terms of pricing as well. This is all about activity based costing. Hope you have enjoyed the session. Thank you very much.